Hey everyone, Matt Thomas here. Thanks for watching. So these poetry walks I would take students on, I, I usually would do them once or twice a year, not that often because, you know, after a while, too much of anything is, is too much, right? Um, but I, I would kind of do it you know, after I've established uh, um, uh, my perspective of poetry. So if you haven't seen the lyrical stanza one, the simile lyrical stanza video, please watch that first. But I would do this kind of after, you know, maybe a month or two after I've, I've, I've you know, done all the other poetry units. And so with the poetry walk, it's a one day thing. You, you essentially have your students take pencil, paper and something to write on and then take your students for a walk around campus. Students love getting out of the classroom like and not and that's not a bad thing. You know, you're just like, hey, let's just let's do class in a different environment. So you you walk around campus. And essentially, you you have five predetermined spots. So in your mind, like in the morning, maybe you walk around and be like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here. I'll pause there. Just kind of remember where you're taking them. Maybe by the football field. Maybe by the gym. Where some flowers are. Whatever, right? And then you so you you have your students walk around. They've got pencil and paper. You stop somewhere, and you say, hey guys, we're gonna be here for three minutes. Write some. Just write a poem write a journal, whatever comes to mind, just, just write three minutes, go. And they just write. And, or you can do five minutes or whatever. Don't do any longer than five minutes because you, you don't want the students to lose interest. What you, you know, your students the best. Once you hear, they start chattering, people aren't writing, then move on, right? Just, just go to the next thing. So then you go to five different locations. And then after you're done, you know, they write at each one. Then you have them come back to the classroom and, and say, hey, guys, all right, you know, would someone mind? Like we went to the football field, we went to all these different places. Would someone mind sharing their poems? And I, and I never, ever force people to share poetry. Uh, it's strictly voluntary, mainly because um, poetry can be personal, right? You want to let them know that, hey, you can write down your thoughts, your feelings, and you and don't fear that you're going to have to share it out. Like, because I want the, I want their writing to be authentic. So if you've got, then you're like, hey, does someone mind sharing what they wrote, please? And then here's the thing. When someone does, because the way, the way you react to someone else speaking Let's the class know if if it's a safe environment or not. So when someone reads, the, you know, shares their poem out, be like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Holy cow, give them a round of applause. That's great. Like really react to their poetry. And while they're sharing it, react like, oh my gosh, this is so good. You know, something like that. Um, but you don't want to be like, uh, who wants to share? Yes. Because that's not the way to word it, right? Like, does someone mind? Anyone mind sharing this out? It's strictly voluntary, of course. You know, anyone mind? Oh, Joey, thank you so much. And then Joey reads, and you're like, oh, my gosh, that's so good. Thank you so much. Holy cow. And you can always p pick something out. Like, I love, like, when you said, like, the flowers were bursting or whatever. You can pick something out if you want to. And then, you know, next, if someone doesn't mind, someone else. So the way you've reacted to a student's poem, the other students go, Okay, if I speak, I'm going to get that positive reaction, and then they're more willing to share. Um, it's just a one-day thing. It's, it takes a, it's a nice little break getting out of the classroom, and students write some great stuff. Thanks for watching.